in Scotland, uh, the debate about how to fund higher education and culture is evolving in some ways similarly to other parts of the UK or other parts of the world. In other words, government is certainly withdrawing um, from funding um, areas that it used to fund to a much greater extent. Um, but the nature of the discussion with government is different for, from, for example, England. Um, in Scotland, there has not been the push from government to develop cultures um, of philanthropy uh, within organisations like universities. So there has not been a match uh, funding scheme. There has not been a, a pool of funding to apply for to, to build your programme. Um, so universities, particularly, that have, have started to build these programmes are kind of on their own. Um, so it's been an internal discussion that's not been driven by external uh, funding being available to, to get this process going. Um, but institutions are, are building it and, and the results are not dissimilar in, in many ways to those institutions south of the border that have had support. So what I take out of that is that the behaviours we need to adopt are the same the world over, that people are people. Um, and I'm not sure that um, from our point of view as fundraisers, um, the relationship with government is what drives our strategy. Um, it may be helpful um, to have legal and other uh, f and financial support from government, of course, and it certainly helps to build broad understanding um, across a community. Uh, one of the issues I, I, I'm quite interested in at the moment is the extent to which government in the United Kingdom or in the devolved governments of the United Kingdom could be helping us all as fundraisers to build a culture within our countries that some of us feel North America perhaps enjoys a little bit more. Uh, that requires, I think, some government intervention. This is a national initiative, and a national issue rather, uh, that requires um, significant ongoing public relations campaigns to be mounted. And I'm not sure I've seen those consistently applied. But as a simple fundraiser, I don't think my behaviour is very different from anyone else's in any institution anywhere on the planet. Um, as a consultant, of course, working with institutions in many countries, particularly countries where there, again, isn't a culture of philanthropy so much, um, I've often been struck by the readiness of people to dismiss this area as an American activity or, funnily enough, a British activity. Uh, I remember being told this by a client in Spain who told me that this might work in the United Kingdom but it won't work in Spain. And I, I did smile because, of course, 20 odd years ago, people were telling us in the UK, this is American, it won't work in Britain, it does.